at the paper of English language. As you know, just a few days are being left for the class 12 English paper. Now, how are you going to deal with the paper? The certain is that I need to work it out, that are not I, generally, we need to work it out. Now, what the basic strategy? The first thing, the strategy being clear in mind that you need to clear this 100 last paper. How are you going to attend the paper? The first thing that is very important that how are we able to get the complete 100 marks paper on time. The problem with the certain students is that they are unable to complete the paper on time. Now you need to check out the certain sectors, generally the sectors those being one of the sections of paper. Now as we know the 100 marks is being distributed among three sections. Section A, Section B and Section C. Now, why don't section A? It's all about the reading section. Now, what does mean by the reading section? And how are you going to tell it with the reading section? Telling you, telling you, that is a comprehension. Generally, it's a comprehension. And how are you going to cop up with the comprehension? Comprehension section, section comprehension, it includes notebook too. Now, you need to deal out with two short of comprehensions, or the unseen basis, and the one is a notebook. Now, A1, A2, and A3. We are sure about this, that's a notebook. Jelly, we are not sure about this. Is the comprehension or unseen passage or unseen passage of poetry? So you need to prepare yourself for the poetry comprehension too. The way you want to get it, check out my other videos. I'll just tell you everything that how to tell or work it out the comprehension of poetry. You can check my videos. Here, the first thing that is very important. How to work, Jelly, how to work out the comprehension? If you want to read of this, you can check it from my video. You subscribe to the channel. But what are the basic things? First, check it out the time strategy. What be the time strategy? Or how are you going to tell the paper? You need to start, not you need to. You must start with section A. You need to consume that 15 minutes that will be given by the CBSC to you before the starting of the paper. That extra time that will be given to each and every student and that can be utilized by real English students. You must utilize that period, that 15 minutes. That 15 minutes is key and I want all of you to be very honest to get the best part of that 15 minutes. So the first strategy is to work it out, really not to work it out, just to get the best out of you in section A. The very first is that you need to read the complete passage. You need to clear the entire story. Go for the answers. Don't work out the copy and paste strategy. Sorry, don't work out the copy and paste strategy that you usually do. After question, but I'm answering a mark here. You need to read the questions first, clear each and everything, and then go for the answer. You need to go for the answer. You know the story now. You just go through the entire passage. You know the story. You can write on your own. That's what I want. And then say this section A, the first thing that we need to work it out in your mind is that we will able to work with the section A in max to max first 40 to 45 minutes. And then the section B, more than being a lightning section, the key, jelly. Lightning section, the key is the lightning. Generally, those are working for the 95 plus in English. They must be the master of writing, Jenny. They must be the master of ABC. You must remember ABC. That's the accuracy, balance, and consistency. And you need to work it out that thing. Here, find out in section B. You need to prepare yourself for notice. Generally, advertisement, poster, invitation, replies. Or you just want to just be prepared for the two things that in the notice and the poster or the advertisement. So this is the option. You can work it out. Don't base on options. Go for each and every topic. You must be master everything. It's all up to you. Nobody knows what will come in the paper. You've been prepared for the best. Is that? Now, the first thing. Here we have the four question again. B1, 2, 3, and 4. Yeah. B1, 2, 3, and 4. So, what you need to prepare yourself for section B? The advertisement. Exactly. Classified review, then the invitation, then posters, notice, exactly notice. I can't forget the notice. Do prepare yourself with the letter writing. Jam the letter writing. Most probably 99.9% the letter writer. Then you must be prepared for the business letter too. 
the lad would jump. Inquiries for the complaint letter. Don't forget to prepare yourself with the complaint letter. And then article writing. Exactly the article, speech, debate, or the factual description that can come in your paper too. Exactly the possibility of leak coming, the factual description is very high. You need to work on that too. And then here we have the report writing. This all the entire structure of section B. You need to prepare yourself really the best for section B. Means the writing section. And then we'll move up to the third section, that is section C. Known as your books. Generally, you work out of the books the whole year. Sorry to say you, but many of the students still now are not being known to each and every chapter. So you need to work it out. Now, you can make the four parts, generally the four parts for note making. The four parts will include flamingo, generally the chapter of flamingo, this task, poetry, that do come from the flamingo. And then the end of the man, or the some people do have the other one too. You need to work on that things. Then, how can we now master it? What the basic strategy? Read, read, and read so that you can clear each and everything. Okay, be prepared yourself. Go for the last few papers. Go for the maximum sample papers. Write down, write more. You must have a lead time or channel. You must have. Just check it out. Complete the papers in between time. Start today. Exactly, don't have much time. Start today so that you can get the maximum out of you. These are certain points that we need to keep in mind while working out. Where exactly? I repeat section B. What we need to do? Section B, A, B, C. Like is in accuracy, balance, and consistency. Now, how you can the master accuracy, balance, consistency? While writing in a flow, you need to work it out. Don't think while you write. Exactly, don't think while you write. Think before you write. If you're going to think while you're writing, you make an adjustment, and adjustment doesn't give you hundreds of marks. Is that clear to? Then we need to move out to the second marks. Here are the certain tips. Exactly the last that I'm going to give you. Yeah, me ko kuch chiz bata diya aap log ki aap log samajh pao. Jaldi aap ne kaha how can I work it out? Look at here. Here are the things that I want my students to work it out. Not you. Exactly. I want every one of you. Yeah. If you like my video, do subscribe so that I will help you. Then check it out, the tips, last tips that you need to keep in your mind before going out for a paper. First thing that you need to, first thing you need not to follow is that now solve previous paper. Sorry, before this, you need to keep yourself calm, calm and cool. Don't be as I see that I'm how do I mean to do paper? Oh paper can show up, kya hoga? need not to worry about this, yeah. How cheerful, gently. Just work out the best you can. I know you can do. First thing, solve previous paper. You must have 10 years. Exactly. Then we man. The 10 years. Can we go for the 10 years? The last previous papers. Solve them all. Then the second one. Don't think about the paper. Jenny, we are going to think on the paper. Yes, over. Tough over. Easy over. Yeah. Don't think about it. Yeah. Just go and give your best. If you want to think, then think about doing the best in paper. This is what I want you to do. Is, is that clear? Then we need to do a third point. Read the paper thoroughly and then answer the questions. This is the problem with each and every storm. Jenny, we are a hurry man. What is your demand? We are going to ask questions and then answer the questions. And then we will ask you, Yeah, you have to write this. What I want all of you? To read the paper thoroughly. Aram se padho ya zaldi nahi hai. Take your night. Padho, samjho. And then go for the answer. Next point. Yeah, exactly. Divide the allotted time into sections. If you are being we want to have the maximum mass, you need to allot the time. Section A. This section B. And then section C. This really can be possible when you start doing preparation from today onwards. Which is a five to six days. Prepare yourself for the best now and then do attempt and try to finish the section A and B as I told you in the first half try to finish the entire section A and B they do consist exactly 60 marks I know you are able to finish the entire section A and B in within half an hour first half hour first half means the first half hour of the paper means the first one and a half hour of the paper if you are able to finish it 
It's a positive point for all of them. Jambi, it's going to prove a positive point. Then, in the first half of the allotted time. And then last, not least, is something that every teacher really wants you to go with neat and clean handwriting. Yeah, I don't have a brief, but I want my students to have it. Go with a neat and clean paper. Don't go for cutting. Jamie, don't go for cutting. If you're not sure with the question, don't tell me for yourself. You have to turn the paper, you're very sure. We underline all important points. Underline all important points. It has a positive impact on the teacher. This is what I want you to teach. This is what I want to give to mass at the last of this. I know that you all can do. You all can do the best you can. But just keep these things in your mind. And you'll achieve really your dream marks. All the best your paper. Jenny. You like this video? Subscribe.